I have billions of spreadsheets in my computer with how much I can spend on groceries each week so I can still make my payment for school. A lot of students don't predict a lot of the funds um, that they have to pay for for college. You know, we budget, um, but sometimes there's all these miscellaneous pieces, pieces that um, can cause a lot of stress. I've been paying for everything out of pocket, um, making sure not to go into debt because I've seen how that's affected the lives of lots of Americans all around the country and you know, even people in my own family. And I wanted to be able to live a life free of debt, so I was frequently working a lot in my internships trying to pay for college. Every hour you're working is another hour where I can guarantee that I can go grocery shopping next week. Um, so if that hour meant one less hour of studying, one less hour of, you know, maybe I'll get that assignment done tomorrow, it's, it's a big deal. You know, you're choosing good grades versus uh, kind of surviving. I'm very passionate about, about the students and bringing in the next generation of scientists and engineers. And the, the School of Engineering is, is doing that every day and they will do it more so in the future. We're really focused on people the students and the faculty. And we want those resources for how the faculty teach, how they do their research, the laboratories that they have, and this provides a wonderful opportunity for the students to learn. I think as a dean, one of the most important functions that I do is fundraising. Uh, fundraising will help us in uh, attracting some of the best students, not only in New Mexico, all over the country, uh, with scholarships, but also it helps us um, attract some students who really need the money. I was really excited when the committee decided to set a $50 million goal for this campaign. It's our time because there's wonderful things happening at the School of Engineering. It's our time for all of us to think about how do we make a difference in the world around us and one of the big ways to do that is through things that we do with the educational institutions that made a difference. So we were able to get the research project off the ground. Um, with that money, I was able to hire um, the students, postdoc, and also purchasing the material that's needed to collect that initial set of data that showed feasibility. And then we were able to use that data to apply for more uh, grant money to support further research. It allowed us to be relevant. Uh, in scientific terms, I would say it gave us a quantum leap uh, to the future. Um, providing tools and facilities to our students uh, and faculty to actually participate in this uh, revolution that's coming in, the, in construction. very fortunate to have achieved these scholarships so that I don't have to worry about working and then going back to the dorms and studying more and doing homework. I can focus full force on what I'm trying to learn. When I received the Van Dyke Scholarship, I was able to lower the number of hours that I was working at the internships to a level where it was still useful for learning and was able to be a little more rested, explore some of my passions, um, and do better on my schoolwork as well. I've been able to put more time into my research projects, which has gotten me a first author public publication. So it's meant a lot because I can do a lot more on top of working and of course doing a full like course load. The campaign to me is about giving back to the students and it's, it's a very critical time right now to do so. Consider the ways that the school has impacted our lives and explore opportunities to be part of this campaign. Because of this fundraising, I'm gonna be in a better position to help. So really, it's amazing.
Our time is possible. Our time is possible. Our time is possible. Our time is possible because, because of people, people like, like you. you.